ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. In the great southwest areas of the United States, where thousands of miles of land were patrolled by only a few lawmen, an outbreak of crime, violence, or corruption could occur at any time. That's why the Lone Ranger and Tonto were on the move again. They never knew where they might be needed next. Whether it took them in hot pursuit of desperate outlaws whose bullets sought to cut them down, or set them chasing after evil men who strove to harm the innocent, or flung them into violent personal battle where each fight could be the last. And even on days of quiet, they could never be sure of what lay ahead. Now they were on their way to look in on the ranger's old friend, Sheriff Bates. Adios, Sheriff. It was good to see you again. <laughs> nice throw, Tonto. Uh, me think maybe desperate criminal come out back door of jail, Kimisami. There are no outlaws in that jail. And uh, Sheriff Bates not need our help? He told me there hasn't been an outbreak of crime in this town in nearly three months. Not since we helped him capture the Lacey gang. What we do then? Move on to next town? Yeah, there are plenty of outlaws that aren't in jail. It's up to us to find them. Let's go. up many days ago. Well, I had no idea we had such arid land to cross. Sun beat down plenty hot. Look like it not rain here in many months. Maybe glad when we get back to river country. Toto, that little lizard doesn't seem to mind the heat. He probably likes it here. Uh, you give me thick skin like that, Kimisabe, me not mind it either. I will right, we'll head to the stagecoach road. There probably is a water hole there. The stagecoach is due through here just about now. Nearest town, 200 miles away. No outlaw gang way out here. There is one gang, the McKeevers. They specialize in committing crimes as far from civilization as possible. That's why the law has never caught up with them. But maybe we can. Come on. Oh, it's you McKeevers again, eh? That's right, Buckskin. It's us McKeevers again. Come on, I hand it over. How come you're always picking on me? This is the third time this year. Why not? You're such easy pickings. Well, who wouldn't be? All by myself and way out here miles from nowhere. All right, Buckskin. We'll see you soon again. Come on. Come on. We heard shots. What happened? Three other Al Hoots already beat you to it, mister. They got the gold shipment. We not outlaws, we friends. Yeah? Is that why he's wearing the mask? Don't let this mask fool you. It's on the side of the law and always will be. Now, who are those men and which way they head? Yeah, I reckon they ain't got nothing to lose, trust you. It was the McKeevers. Two brothers and a nephew. And they headed north for them hills. Tonto, we have a good chance of running them down. They haven't had much of a head start. Are you all right to drive the coach to the next stage stop? Joe Briggs' place? Yeah, I reckon so. Not that he'd be much help and no doctors around. He'll get you in shape. When you get into town, tell the sheriff to get the jail ready. We're going to try to bring in the McKeevers. Good luck. They left the trail here. The track's still fresh, Kimisabi. They're not far ahead. Well, they obviously aren't expecting anyone to follow them so soon, or they've taken time to cover up their trail. Uh, if we ride fast, we may catch up with them before it gets dark. Tell them they know this country better than we do. We expect to take them by surprise. We'd better be extremely careful. Let's go. Now, ain't that a pretty sight? Shouldn't we keep going, Uncle Seth? All this money, they're liable to send someone after us. Oh, how can they, Chris? That driver won't be seeing anyone for days. Except maybe old Joe Briggs. He can't even get out of his cabin, though. He's all crippled up with the rheumatism. 
No, we camp here for the night and head for the border tomorrow. I'll get some grub. Chris, get some wood for a fire, will you? All right, Uncle Mark. This is the place. The trail leads into that hollow. Directly. I'm not expecting company, Jimmy. Come on, McKeever. You too. Stay where you are. Oh, it's just my bullets won't miss you. Keep them covered, Tyler. The other one's getting away. Get that gun, Tonto, and we'll tie them up. Well, I don't get it. The masked man working on the side of the law. There's a lot you don't get, McKeever. Maybe when you're in jail, you'll understand things better. Jail? That's what you're aiming to do. Try to put us in jail, huh? We're not only going to try, we're going to succeed. Mister, do you know how far it is to the nearest town? I know. At least five days' journey. You know, a lot can happen in five days. The law tried to take us in before, but it ain't never succeeded. No, and it never will. There ain't a lawman living don't deserve to have his head blown. You're pretty young to hate the law that much, son. Why shouldn't I hate it? It killed my mother and father. I can't believe that. Well, the boy is telling the truth. You know, we was real law-abiding once, respectful farmers. Owned our own land. Me and Ward and my brother Luke. Till the law moved in and killed Luke and his wife? Must be more to it than that. Oh, yeah, a lot more to it than that. Some crooks pulled a hold up near our farm. They came over and forced us to give them shelter. The law came after them. There was a gunfight. When the fight was over, Chris's ma and Paul was dead. I see. That was a terrible tragedy, son. Can't you see the lawmen were just doing their duty? If they'd let them escape, there might have been a lot more innocent people killed. Yeah. Tell that to my mother and father in their graves. You did a good job bringing him up so full of hate. You better have. We've been getting even with the law for six years. We're going to keep on getting even with it. Is that what you want, son? To spend the rest of your life running away from the law? I'm doing all right. It's you who's going to be in trouble. You know, I sort of get a kick out of this law trying to take us in. But I'm going to give you a warning, mister. Don't you or your friend never take your eyes off us. Not for one second. Don't dare go to sleep. Don't ever trust us. Not once. Because sooner or later, we're going to turn the tables on you. Sooner or later, we're going to kill you.
drink coffee fast. We not waste time. Oh, don't make him wolf it in him. Give him a bellyache. Thanks. It's real good of you. <laughs> Keep them covered, Tom. Do something, will you? The snake poison spreads fast. Don't let me lie here and die. I'll have to cut the wound and get the poison out. Tattle, make a tourniquet. What about these two, Kimitami? Your brother's going to die if we don't give him immediate attention. Do I have your promise that you and your nephew won't break away from here while we're taking care of him? Sure, Mr. Wolf. Promise you anything. Anything you want. I mean, not trust this one, Kimitami. Neither do I, Tattle. You better keep him covered. You, come over here. Hurry up, will you? That snake poison spreading fast. You want to save his life? Yes. I'm going to take a chance that you're not as cold brothers as your uncle. Do you know how to make a tourniquet? Yes. We'll make one. All right. Now grit your teeth. This is going to hurt. <laughs> you did a good job. Without your help, I couldn't have saved his life. Now put out your hands. I'll have to tie you up again. Too bad you're so set on being an outlaw. With capable hands like yours, you might have become a doctor. You know, that was a real stupid thing for you to do, mister. You should let him die, and the odds would have been even. Two against two. You'd have stood a better chance of taking us in. That's not the way the law works, McKeever. But I guess that's something you never taught your nephew, did you? here for the night. Chris, give me a hand with your uncle. McKeever, get off horse. Get over there. Is he going to be all right? Well, I hope so. But thanks to your uncle, we had to wait too long before I could help him. Mister, why did you do it? Well, what do you mean? Well, like Uncle Seth said, it's been a lot easier for you and the Indian if, if you'd let them die. It's the duty of every lawman to save lives, not to take them. Then why did the lawman kill my folks? Chris, sometimes a tragedy like that can't be avoided. The lawman kills because he has to, not because he wants to. Chris, Chris. What is it, Uncle Seth? It's real smart of you helping the mass man with your Uncle Ward. Made him trust you. Yeah, I guess it did. Now we gotta turn the trust against him. What do you mean? I figured out a way to get him. But you gotta set the trap for me, Chris. I do? How? Tomorrow we reach Canyon Creek. Now the mass man and the Indian, they're gonna have a hard time finding a safe place to cross. You're gonna tell them the safest place of all. Where? Emerald's Point. Uncle Seth. There's nothing there but quicksand. <laughs> uh, whoever's leading the garner for sure. Yeah, we know it's either the masked man or the Indian that's going to lead us. But Uncle Seth, they did save Uncle Ward's life. Oh, sure, they saved his life so he could go back to town and die at the end of a rope like the rest of us. He's a lawman, boy. Same kind of people that killed your mom and Paul. You forgetting that? No, no, I ain't forgetting. All right, you going to tell him Devil's Point? All right, Uncle Seth. Devil's Point. Tunnel. Yes, Jim Sammy. Are the keepers all right? I uh, mean, not take eyes out. I thought I heard whispering. They might be up to something. Uh, if they make moves, we shoot plenty of ass. Yeah, well, I hope it won't come to that. Something about that boy I think is worth saving. Uh, him listen to Uncle too much, and you'll not have a chance to talk sense into him. Sometimes talk is less effective than action. Then what do you mean? You treat a boy like a criminal. He may behave like one. But if you show him you think he's honorable, he may try to be honorable. Mm -hmm. Plenty big risk to take. With a boy like Chris, I think it's worth taking. Mm -hmm. Hope you're right, Kimisami. Better get back on guard. <laughs> this bad place to try and cross, Kimisami. I know, Tano. We've got to get across it fast. 
He needs medical attention, more than we can give him. I know a good, safe place to cross. McKeever, I wouldn't trust any recommendation you made. Son, you know this river fairly well. Yes. Is there a safe place near here where we can cross? Yes. Yes, there's a good, safe place. It's about a half mile downstream. It's called Devil's Point. All right, let's move on. Good. We'll let him rest. Won't tell truth, Kimasabi. River plenty shallow here. Look like a good place to cross. Let me make sure. A keeper, come over here. You're one of the most suspicious men I ever met. <laughs> men like you that made me that way. That's just like the boy said. Safe place to cross. Kimasabi! Quick, Sad! Yeah, a real safe place. Son, I didn't think you could be as rotten as your uncle. I hope there's been a little decency left in you. Hold on, Tonto. I'll get you out. Yeah, Mr. Howe. You know, you're in a pickle. You don't help your friend fast, he's gonna be dead. If you do help him, you're gonna have to take the gun off us. Chris and me ain't gonna stick around to see how you make out. You planned this very cleverly, McKeever. Yeah. But you can't win. And how do you plan on saving the Indian? This gun is loaded. If you don't get Tonto out of there, I'll finish off the both of you. Come on, Uncle Seth. We gotta help him like he says. Nah, nah, he's just bluffing. It's a lawman's bluff. See, Lama, they gotta live by a code of decency. They can't shoot anybody unless in self-defense. And he's not gonna pull that trigger unless we give him cause. Meantime, your friend's sinking deeper and deeper. Of course, there is one way you could save your friend's life. What's that? Untie our hands, turn your guns over to Chris and me. We'll help you pull the Indian out. You save your friend, we get our freedom. Now, that's a fair exchange, isn't it? You know I can't trust you, McKeever. Well, what's your choice? Watching the Indian die? You're right. I have no choice. I trusted you once and made a bad mistake. Now I'm going to try again. This time I hope you'll make your uncle live up to his promise. What about me, mister? Now, let's get Tonto out of there. We'll need some branches. Steady, Tonto! Come on! Hurry up, Uncle Seth. If he sinks any deeper, we'll never get him out. Stay put, boy, stay put. But you promised. Sure, I promised. I'd have promised anything to put a bullet in that masked man. Now they're both gonna die. First him, then the Indian. No! You gone crazy, boy? You said you were going to help him. That's exactly what you're going to do. Looks like you could put us both in jail? Not on your life. You taught me to live by your code, Uncle Seth. Not by his. And I will shoot you if I have to. Now you help him. I said help him. All right, Chris, take it easy. Now, Kimisabe. Chris, I'm glad you didn't let me down this time. Thanks. Now I'll take my gun. I'm sorry, mister. I can't let you have them just yet. What do you mean? You saved my Uncle Ward's life. I figured I owed you one. But I owe something to my Uncle Seth, too. He's my blood kin. He's looked after me all these years. What's he made of you? A hunted criminal. I know. He's done a lot of things wrong. And so have I. But I can't let you take him in. That's right, boy. That's right. Don't trust him, Chris. Believe me. Look, Chris, this is one time the masked man's wrong. Blood's thicker than water. You know that. I'll do anything you say. Then help Uncle Ward on his horse so we can get away from here. Why, sure, boy, sure. <laughs> You're a soft-hearted fool, boy. Now they're both gonna die. No! How bad is it, son? Nick me in the shoulder. I reckon I'll live to serve out my jail term. How long do you think it'll be? You saved our lives just now. You proved there was more good in you than bad. That's something Tonto and I will tell the judge. Now, let's take a look at that shoulder. 
Uh, McKeever Brothers look plenty good behind bars, Kimitabe. Yeah, they won't be causing trouble for a long, long time. Uh, what about Boy? You think him stay on right side of law when him get out of prison? I'm sure he will, Tunnel. He's had a bad start in life. He's learned his lesson. I don't believe he'll make the same mistake. Uh, I feel good to help Boy like Chris. It always feels good to steer a man from wrong to right. Let's get him out of it. It's all your fault, kid. We'll be lucky if we don't spend the rest of our lives here. Maybe it's no more than we deserve. We've hurt a lot of people in our time. Uh, that masked man. Someday I'm gonna get him. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get him. A lot of outlaws have tried that, Uncle Seth. None of them have ever succeeded. You see, he happens to be the Lone Ranger. Are you still there? 